Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, today is uh, December the twenty-first, Thursday afternoon. Um, I'm getting ready to work on my. So, well, I've actually been working on my a couple of days ago. I went to work on my second week of gun season, and I was debating on. I was going to try to get it uploaded before. Uh, I was going to try to get it uploaded maybe in the morning, uh, but I'm going to wait till after Christmas now because uh, I have lost some footage. Um, I've heard about. Seen on videos, people's talked about this before, but uh, I don't know how I did it. Uh, first time it's ever happened, but somewhere between my camera and going to the laptop where I do my editing and stuff, um, somehow I deleted it or something happened. I don't know, but uh, my second buck I killed uh, the second Saturday was next to the last day of gun season. I shot it Saturday morning, had to, had to shot on camera and everything because I, I remember coming home looking at it. And I didn't fool with it for, good gosh, almost two, a week and a half or so. And I thought I had it all on the computer. I thought I transferred it all to the computer. And it's not on there, and it, I just checked my chip, and it's not on here either. So, uh, anyway, I did get a bunch of pictures when I got off the hill. So, uh, actually, I'm missing, like, another day. I, I hunted quite a bit. I'm actually missing, like, uh, there was another day I went on my other neighbor's property, I didn't see anything, but I got just a little bit of footage, you know, going in. I think I got my intro video for it. I had just a little bit of footage of me over there. Um, like I said, I didn't get anything that day. And then the next morning, Saturday morning, I was up on the hill and got that deer. And I don't know, I have no clue where the footage is. So I'll be honest with you. Somehow I deleted it or something, or I don't know, it didn't transfer, and I deleted it off the chip. First time it's ever happened, so uh, sorry about that. It's going to be a short video. Um, but uh, anyway, that's the way things go. So uh, we'll just stay tuned and see what ha you can just watch what I have, I guess. And like I said, I do have some pictures that I got when I got off the hill. So uh, I'll post them at the end of the video, guys. But uh, uh, thanks for watching anyway. So <laughs> sorry about that. It's the first time it's ever happened. I hope it never happens again. So. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Today's uh, Friday, November twenty fourth. That is, uh, oh gosh, we're at the end of our first week of the gun season, and I am up here on public land. Uh, it's, uh, yesterday was Thanksgiving, of course, so I hope everybody had a good one. Uh, me, I think I'm going to get in a couple pounds over the next day. <laughs> we actually had our dinner Wednesday night because both my boys was be able to be there Wednesday night, so uh, one of them had to work just about all day yesterday, so uh, we went ahead and had dinner Wednesday night with family and friends, had a couple friends over. Pretty good time. Then uh, I actually got up yesterday morning to go to another piece of property uh, that I bow hunted, I think, once so far. Got a trail camera down there, getting all kinds of does. Uh, not any bucks, but uh, got up yesterday morning and just, just really didn't feel like doing anything. Uh, so I just took the yesterday off, spent, spent time around the house with the wife, and my well, younger son was home. So. That being said, I'm up on public land this morning. I've already passed one truck in here, and I followed two more vehicles in. They went on out the ridge, so uh, this place gets pretty hit pretty hard the first week. I, I, I really don't even really care to hunt up here, really, even after the gun season starts, because it gets it does get hammered pretty good during her gun season, especially the first week. But uh, I went ahead and I wanted to give at least one try up here today. Um, maybe back up here next weekend. Got to get back to work Monday. Uh, may come back up next Saturday and try the other spot on that big steep hill. When well, I did it all the eight days hit, uh, what, two Saturdays ago. So, uh, we will see about that, but, uh, I'm going to get up here and get in a tree. Uh, we got about 45 minutes before daylight, I guess. It's going to take me out long. I don't have a, a real long walk, but I got a little bit of a walk to get in. So, we'll see you in the tree. Hopefully, have something on the tree camera today.
guys, it's almost one o'clock, and uh, I hope you bait don't sit in here all day or not. For the last hour and a half, I've watched three does on this. I got a little, very little bit of footage. I've watched three does on this hillside up here, feeding around for at least an hour and a half. <coughs> and then they'd feed over, and they thought they was coming my way, and they'd feed back, they'd feed over and feed back. Well, eventually, they finally did feed over, and they were still about 150 yards up the hill, and I thought, man, if they come down just a little bit, I'm going to shoot the biggest doe. And uh, they turned, and about 20 minutes or so ago, I saw them heading up the top of the hill, and it's prop probably at the very top up there, and that's where they was heading to, big fields up there. So. Uh, I did see that spike this morning. I got a little bit of fudgy him, and that was a doe and a yearling down over the hill behind me. Got a little bit of footage of them. I'm not sure if that's the same bunch. And there was another doe joined them or what. I know there was a small one in a bunch, but it was two big doves. But uh, I think I'm going to go and get me a bite to eat. There's a ball game one today, I think, um, on Amazon Prime. So I can't remember who's playing. So I think I might just go and hit that and chill out. Uh, I was really hoping they'd come around here. I was going to shoot my bigger doves, but it didn't happen. So. Uh, I'm going to hit a piece of uh, private in the morning. Uh, my truck camera went off this morning. It was a big doe down there, so uh, my, she might be in trouble tomorrow. So we'll see. All right, guys, uh, time for the very last drawing of my contest this year. I want to thank everybody who participated. Uh, I may do it again next year. If I do, I might change it up just a little bit. But the last prize we have going is a knife set. For the first time this whole contest in December, I actually had two people to pick the actual date that I got something. I got my third buck of the year, my second during the West Virginia gun season. It was on uh, Saturday, January 2nd. I had two people to pick that day, so we only got two names in the hat, so you got a 50-50 chance here. And this one right here. As usual, I'll drop the hat. And it is Andrew from Country Line Adventures. Uh, he is from Martinsburg, West Virginia, I think. He's he's way up north there. We're also friends on Instagram. But uh, Andrew, give me a uh, shout out and uh, or give me a shout on my and uh, my email, bkbowhunter at icloud.com, I'll put it in the description, send me your address, and uh, get your knife set, I'll tell you, and I will say that I uh, apologize for this video being so late, it should have been about a week and a half ago, but our internet was out for almost two weeks, about 10, 11 days, something like that, yeah. 
And we just got back on Friday, so... Mouse uh, made a nest in the box out front. Yeah, we, had, we, had a, we got like six cats around here, and we had a mouse make a nest in the box out front. So we was out on the internet for about 11 days, but it's back now. So I hope I can get this stuff loaded. And I do have one more hunting video coming up. I hope I have it up next week to 10 days. And then after that, I got a few more ideas to keep me going until uh, spring gobbler season. So congratulations to everybody who won this year, and congratulations to Andrew. Thanks everybody for watching.